Oh, another sapling there. We'll pick that up because we're going to want to plant a lot of trees later. Ooh, there's some coal there. I want that. Uh, I can mine it from here, actually. I can barely reach it. I'm going to have to dig these out to get it to fall down to me, though. Hello. Hello, coal. I'm going to dig the rest of this out, too. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. I need to return to my shelter. This coal's not going to go anywhere, so... There's no rush for me to collect all of it right now, but... My shelter's right there, so I'm not really... Whoops. No, I can't collect it with my bare hands. I'm going to need to use a, a tool. I could eventually break the block. It would take a long time, but I wouldn't actually get any coal to appear. Wow, there's a lot here. This is nice. Right next to the house. It's like a gift. Alright, let's go back down. More samplings. I'll take them. Thank you very much. And we'll go in here into the nave. And uh, before too long, we're going to be expanding the nave. I think we're going to do that tonight, actually. Yeah, it's starting to get dark now. This is going to be a really nice home. I'm going to build an external structure out here. That's going to be nice, too, because I've already got some of the walls put in, just from the natural cave formation here. Or not cave formation, but the natural rock formation. Anyway, let's go ahead and close our doors. Get out of here. There we go. And now we can proceed to uh, dig to our heart's content and expand the nave. Now this is basically the method I use. I, I just hold the left mouse button down all the time. I just move it around what I'm on, because you don't have to let go of it. There's no reason to. So we'll just keep picking up all this cobblestone, because I'm planning on using all this cobblestone to build that castle in the sky that I mentioned. Eventually. I mean, we'll get to that before too, too long, but... There's some other things that we need to focus on first. Uh, these tools that we're making are made out of stone, and they're really not the uh, best. Either. And the wood ones are just awful, to be, to, wait, to be quite frank. And stone tools aren't that much better. So we need to go on a hunt very soon for some better resources. And that's not going to be out in the external world. It's going to be underground. And you might start to see why this game is called Minecraft very shortly. It's not Minecraft, as in, I own this craft, if it were German. No, it's Minecraft, as in, we're going to dig a mine uh, very shortly. Let's put another torch down, just to... Brunk. Let's be symmetrical, why not? Have a nice well-lit room, torches above the door. I'm actually going to hack out these two blocks to make the doorway, the open opening to the doorway a little bit nicer. And go ahead and look back outside. I still want some spiders to appear, that would be great. If any spiders appear out here, I will totally go after them. Any other enemies I'm not going to be as enthused about finding, because the rewards aren't as good. And creepers are just risky to go after. You want to go at those from from afar, but right now we don't have any ranged attacks. And that's why we need the spiders. But I don't think we've even seen a spider yet. Anyway, nothing's going to spawn in the light. The torches there, the light stops the enemies from spawning because it isn't dark. Look at the water. Wow, I'm amazed it isn't frozen. Yeah, this is the waterfall that originally attracted me to this area. I saw that over there, because that's where our spawn point is, is over in that direction. Alright, there's one more item that I want to show you guys to make that we haven't... I somehow have neglected to make yet, even though it's rather important to make one early on in case you die. And that we have a permanent shelter. Look, sapling. Do-do-do. This game does not uh, really help my ADD. I don't have ADD, I just say that. Anyway, okay, so let's go in here and use f these planks. We'll form a square with them, a larger square with an empty center. And that's going to create a chest we can put things in. I'm actually going to make another one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go, we'll have two chests. And we can do the same thing with a furnace to make something else, but we'll get to that before too long. Let's go ahead and put these chests down in my hotbar so that I can do things with them. Eight and nine. Well, wait a minute, do I have... No, seven and eight. There we go. Let's see. Where do I want to put this? Hmm. We're probably going to move it before uh, eventually, but I'm just going to put it here for now. And what I can do is I can put two of them next to each other, do do, and they'll combine to make a large chest with double the storage space. You see, it's twice as large as our inventory. One chest would be the same size as our inventory. So let's put all this stone that we've been mining in here because we don't need it. We'll put our gunpowder. Let's put mixing ingredients down here. I'll put our gunpowder and our mushrooms away. And we'll basically just use this place to, as a, this, this as a place to store excuse me, items that we want to keep but we don't really need to carry with us. I'm also going to put some of my coal in here for safekeeping, as well as some of my sticks, in case I ever need to come back. I don't really need to carry the dirt around, but I'm just going to collect more anyway, so I might as well hold on to it. 
All right, so it's dark outside. Don't see any spiders. Even though I really want to see a spider. No, don't don't drop your sword. Pick that back up, dude. Yeah, the Q key drops things. Just drops whatever's currently equipped. There's no way to walk around with a torch out on your person. Look, is that more coal? Wow, look at that. We'll get that in the morning. You don't want to get preoccupied with mining at night. You'll have an enemy come up behind you and kick your ass. So let's see. Is that the right spot? Is there a torch on top of that tree? I really can't tell from down here. Have to move away a little bit. See if I can see the top of the tree. Look around, see if we see anything coming after us here. Hopefully nothing. No, I can't tell if there's a light up there or not, but it doesn't look like it, does it? Hmm. No, it's that tree over there. Yeah, you can see the light from here. It's that one. We can build on top of this one, too, if we want. We can do one or the other. Or both, whatever. I'm pretty much open to you guys' suggestions as to what... If you guys have any ideas, like, just let me know. I'm fairly open about what I can build and what there is to do. There's a nice flat wall there. We can put something on that. I like the, having the tall... This huge block of land that we're going to be able to expand in, up and into very soon, very soon. Haha. <laughs> soon I will conquer the world. Oh, look, more saplings. Alright, so, let's see. Something else we can make. We can use the stone. We'll need eight pieces. Put them in a square with an empty center. We can make a furnace. And this is a fairly useful item. This allows us to basically to cook things, to burn them, to smelt them, whatever. And uh, we can power it with coal. And or we can use wood, wooden planks or wooden blocks. But nothing that we have right now, I really want to put into a furnace. I just figured I'd go ahead and make it because I like to have my my four squares. I have two chests, a workbench, and a furnace. And that's generally how I'll build my bases. You may notice I tend to do things pretty symmetrically and fairly in a planned out manner, you know. So let's see. I feel like we can go ahead and open this room up even more. So I'm going to spend some time. I'm just going to enlarge this room, and uh. We'll see what happens. It's probably going to be a fast forward, but I'll be doing that in the next recording session. So I'll see you guys uh, later when we'll return to my world of Minecraft. Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and welcome back to my world of Minecraft. It's still dark outside, I see, and it appears that our torches have actually melted the snow right here in front of our house. So that's kind of neat. We have like a nice warm little alcove that we can go into. That would be pleasant, wouldn't it? Alright, so let me go ahead and explain my plan for expanding on the nave here. It's going to become quite a large room, and what we're going to start with is... I'm going to dig into the wall a little bit right here. This seems like about the right spot. Oh, my pick just ran out. Bummer. Okay, let's grab these. I'll use it to make a new pick. <laughs> Put our handles down. Drop in the stone there. Voila. Alright, let's continue here. Now, basically, I'm going to build a staircase, and I'm going to show you guys how I like to build uh, staircases. Alright, so, basically, we're going to dig in uh, two blocks into the wall here, and then we're going to go up. So, I'm going to dig up. Well, actually, no, let's we'll dig in three before we go up. There we go. So, we'll have... Okay, one, two... We need to go a little farther. Alright, because this is where the staircase is going to start, is these two blocks because I want to have a wall in between this room and the staircase. So it's actually dig in three blocks into wherever you want to start. And then you want to go up and dig in for two more blocks. And then you look up and you raise the ceiling a little bit. Look, coal! Right there! That's nice. There we go. Okay, so now there's our first step. Now, it's kind of rough to have to jump upstairs. Because you have to, have to hit the space bar to go up there. Now, something neat we can make in this game called half steps, where basically you just put in uh, that. You just build three uh, pieces of cobblestone on the bottom, and you will get out uh, three steps. One, two, three. Or three half steps, I should say. So now we can go into our inventory and put these down, and it'll allow us to go up the staircase without having to jump. Oh, well, like the ceiling is a little low here, I think. Uh, actually, so let's, let's dig that up. I'm bumping my head into the ceiling. There we go, and now we can walk right up. Okay, so, we're going to do basically the same thing that we just did again. We're going to dig over here, and this is where our half, step or s half steps are going to go, is right here. Can I pick those up? Yeah, okay, good. And we'll continue digging through, 
and we have to, whoops, don't dig right there. We have to remember to raise the ceiling, otherwise we won't be able to uh, use our half steps. I'm just going to show you guys the first go around of this staircase, and then the rest of it, I'm just going to build on my own, because it can be kind of boring to just watch people build things. But I do want you guys to know how to do this, at least, so let's put a torch there so you guys can see. So you see how it's starting to come together. It's going to be a spiral staircase, because I basically want to go straight up. Alright, so let's continue digging here. So the same pattern, we'll dig out a little six pack off the ground here, or, well actually no, I wanted that one to stay there. Okay, well I guess this is a good example to show you guys. If you screw up and you want to get some uh, smooth stone back, you can actually put in a piece of cobblestone and some wood on the bottom here, and you can use our furnace, and you'll basically, I don't know what you actually do, you're not melting the stone, but I guess you're just repurposing it, and so, bing! It pops back out as smooth stone. And I believe that's actually the only way to collect smooth stone, since it becomes cobblestone whenever you break it with the pick. So if you want to make a nice smooth area, you can close it back in with that, you see. So we'll put our half steps here, and we'll dig above ourselves again. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I'm going to dig through six of these. And you can see how this is starting to all come together here. So now you probably can predict the pattern that I'm going to dig these two out. Whoops, not that one behind there. Dig out these two. That's where our half steps are going to go. And I'm picking up all this cobblestone because I'm going to use it later to build something pretty cool. Oh, my pick just ran out. We need to make another one. But you see how the pattern is going here, and it's going to continue this exact same way all the way up until I break out into open air. And that's what we're going to be doing uh, tomorrow night, I think. I don't really feel like doing that right now. Because I want to go exploring a little bit and look around. I want to see some more of this world. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll close our door behind us. Actually, I'm going to leave the things that we don't need behind in case I die. I may very well like, go kill myself because it would be interesting to see how far the space is from my spawn point. And I do want to make sure that I can find my way back here uh, from wherever my spawn point may happen to be. So I'm just going to take like some basic tools with me. Two torches and, well, you know what? Let's just take nothing and go throw ourselves off of a cliff. How about that? Sounds like fun. And then whatever happens when we get there, I'm just going to try to remember uh, where the spawn point is. We'll have to do some kind of way to we'll to find some way to mark it. And I actually know one way that will work out fairly well, I think. Because what we're going to want to do eventually, once we've gotten ourselves fairly secure in our uh, nave there that we're building, we're going to want to come back and build a spawn shelter, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're just going to build a shelter around our spawn point so that if we uh, die and we don't have to like find a fight our way back. Hey, piggy! Get out of here. Give me your bacon. I don't have any weapons, so he's probably not going to give me any bacon. Dude, come here. I want your bacon. Get out of that tree. Get out of that cloud, pig. Cloud pigs. I'm going to kick him off the edge. Ah. Oh well. Let's ignore him for now. Can't be distracted by the bacon. Although that does draw you in, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go throw ourselves off of the cliff right in front of our house. That way we know where we'll, where we'll land. Hmm. These clouds are kind of annoying. I have to say, I don't... I like the snow... But I don't at all like the clouds. That just kind of annoys me. Alright, get up there, will ya? There we go. Almost to the top here. That's where that creeper blew up. You see it's starting to fill with snow. Alright, so... I'm actually going to drop a... Oh, I didn't bring any torches, did I? Dang. Oh, well. But yeah, you see, this tree is the one that's hovering above our house. Right, let's clear that so I can walk out to the end of the plank. There's our house down there. Geronimo! Oh shit. Yep. Respawn. Boom. Alright, here's our spawn point. Oh, I spawned in the hole. Alright. Whew. Okay, I believe that way is where our home was. So there's the little hole that I spawned in. Let's mark that a little bit better. I'm going to dig out some, uh, some sand here. Yeah, let's grab a bunch of sand. That'll help. You know, we're going to need sand later anyway, actually, but I'm not going to go ahead and collect all of it right now. I'm just going to build a pretty small shelter around my spawn point. And since it's going to be built out of sand, it doesn't really need to be that beautiful. And I'm actually going to have to get some dirt to build the roof, because uh, the, some blocks in this game obey gravity, but others don't. And sand is one of the ones that obeys gravity. Dirt is one of the ones that doesn't obey gravity. And so you see I can break this dirt here, 
and the rest of the dirt won't fall down to where the where the hole is, even though it really should when you think about it. But were I to dig into the sand here, and I break this block here, this block's going to fall down. See that? So you can't build your roof out of sand because it won't stay up. I should have brought a couple torches, but there's really no way for me to do that when I'm like purposely going here to die. Okay, so we'll go ahead and... I believe this was where I actually spawned. Or was it there? It's one of the two. So I'll just leave it a little bit open. Way it doesn't really matter in the long run. <laughs>